Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Paula's Choice C15 Vitamin C Super Booster. This product retails for $55. This is a reformulated product from Paula's Choice and they've said they've made it even more gentle and even more effective. I always love when brands revisit their formulas and go back to see consumer feedback and what people are saying about the product or if they realize that they can just make a product better. Now I haven't had the chance to try out the original formula so I can't compare it but I will be looking for a few specific specific things with this product. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. They do include a 15% concentration of vitamin C and also ferulic acid in this product. Check out the full ingredient list. Make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. The main things I'll be looking for with this product mainly include how does it feel on the skin? Does it cause any sensitivity? And even though I'm only using this for a couple of weeks, I want to see if I notice any results with it. As for anything else, I'll be continuing to do check-in. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. So far, I'm loving this vitamin C serum. It is extremely gentle. This product is fairly expensive for the amount that you get. It also comes in a dropper bottle, which I mean, I've seen mixed things about that in vitamin C. This is so lightweight though, and it has an amazing gentle feel to the skin. I love starting off my morning with this. It is so lightweight. You just pat it into the skin. And I mean, this product just absorbs immediately. Like it's like it's not even there. It is such a lightweight vitamin C serum. And I don't experience any sensitivity with it. It also has an amazing complex of ingredients in it to soothe the skin as well. I feel like even though I haven't tried the original formulation, I can definitely see where this is being marketed as a gentle product. I'm enjoying it so far. It is extremely lightweight. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my my final thoughts on this product. I did really enjoy this vitamin C booster. And like I said, I haven't tried their original formulation. So I'm not able to say if they did make it more gentle, but I did notice that this was a very gentle form of vitamin C. And I'm gonna talk about my experience with this product first, and then talk about a couple of affordable options if you are not wanting to spend this much on a vitamin C serum. First of all, I did find this to be very gentle, and I felt I could use it both day and night, every day, and not experience experience any sensitivity, which has happened with some vitamin C's before. I am a fan of the other Polish Choice Vitamin C Serum, but that is more of a complex of ingredients, and I just like that texture more. It is also a skin booster, so there is really no rules with it. You can add this product to a moisturizer, or you can use it as a sole serum. I personally just use it as a serum towards the beginning of my skincare routine. This does have some nice soothing ingredients in it as well, and I feel like it had a great complex of ingredients to provide pretty good results to the skin. Obviously, I just tried it for a couple of weeks, so I'm not going to see anything notable with it, but I noticed this product to be mainly a great antioxidant serum. Now, when it comes to affordability and my preference on a vitamin C serum, I do love the added ingredients in this. I feel like they are unique to this product, and it is a very gentle vitamin C. My go-to vitamin C serum, though, is the Prequil Lucent C Vitamin C Serum. It has a very similar texture this one seemed to be even a little bit more light because it is a booster. I feel like the prequel though is a good option if you're wanting a more affordable vitamin C and you're not willing to pay this much. I do feel like with the added ingredients, if you look at them and they are ingredients that work great for your skin, this may be worth investing in. It's all just about evaluating what you are looking for in a skincare product, but I didn't want to provide that more affordable option if it is something that you are not willing to invest in. The prequel has personally shown great results with me. I will be excited to see what I continue to notice with this product. That will just come with time because vitamin C does take a little bit longer to show results with brightening your skin, but I did notice this product was a great antioxidant serum, so I would recommend it if you are willing to invest in it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week, and I will see you all in the next review.